Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, I'm Topher. And for those of you who don't know and just randomly decided to click on my video, welcome to the channel. I'm Topher. Thank you for stopping by. So we're here to do a reaction, and we're reacting to some more of Asia's Phoenix, the one and only Miss Morris and Amon. And a number of you guys asked me to react to her wedding video with because her and Dave just recently got married, and that's super duper exciting. And I actually did. I reacted to that. I recorded it. I edited it. I uploaded it. It is sitting in my playlist currently right now. It just hasn't been made public, at least not as of recording this video. Um, and the reason why it hasn't been made public yet is because when I went to add it to my Morris and Amon reaction playlist, I saw that that video would have made 99 videos in the playlist. And I'm like, we're only one video away from 100. And I, I just felt like something special needed to happen for that 100th reaction to Morissette. Like, she's been such an integral part of my channel, um, my channel's growth and just everything. So like, I felt like that 100th reaction needed to be something special. So what I decided is, I felt like what's more special, especially what's, with what's going on right now, than her wedding. Like, and that video was beautiful, so beautifully well put together. The music is gorgeous, everything, blah, 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 blah. Like, I go on and on and on about it in that actual reaction video. So I figured that instead of releasing that as 99 and then just having some normal reaction be the 100th reaction, I would quickly record something else and make that my 99th reaction in the Morissette reaction playlist. And then I will release the wedding reaction video probably in like a couple hours after this one gets uploaded. So a little bit later today, that reaction will be released. But I just felt like something special needed to be that 100th reaction in her playlist. So that's what we're here to do. Right now we're here to record um, a reaction to one of her recent little live performances she had, what looks like on just one of her live sessions she has when she's at home. And she covered Easy On Me by Adele. The song is beautiful. It is such a soft, simple, but beautiful song lyrically it's such a beautiful story and i have no doubt that morris is going to do amazingly with it so we're just going to dive in and see what she does with it i love her playing instruments there ain't no go in this river that I've been washing my hands in forever. Beautiful. I know there is a beautiful transition. In waters, but I can't bring myself to swim when I am drowning in the silence, baby. Let me. I love how delicate she is with this. Ooh, I like that little music dropout moment. Mm. 
I love how delicate she is with this song. Because she could very easily belt it out if she wanted to. We know she has the capacity. Case in point. Decide what note we want to end on. <laughs> it's a very simple song, a very simple but beautiful melody. Um, it's not anything that's got like an excessive amount of riffs and runs or like super duper belting or anything like that. It's a very just simple, stripped down kind of song, and all it really needs is just. A simple approach to it. it just needs a simple vocal approach to it it doesn't need like vocal showcasing and any, any of that it just needs simplicity simplicity with some little nuanced stuff here and there and that's what Morrison gave she gave just simplicity her like she very easily could have you know sung it with a track or something but no I like the simplicity of her playing it on the low keyboard here and like I said there I like whenever she is playing it live and she's like sight reading whatever and you can tell that she's sight reading because like all the playing isn't necessarily perfect but it just shows how amazingly talented she is because I can't well, I mean I can't play the piano but like as a singer I can't like sight read and sing stuff like that that it's it's a talent that you can work towards I suppose like, I feel like there's some element of, like, just natural talent for that sort of stuff, but then, yeah, you can work towards it and, you know, work yourself up there. Um, but, yeah, sight reading's not my thing, sight seating, singing's not my thing. I can't look at sheet music and be like, oh, yeah, that's blah, blah, blah. Like, I can look at it, study it, and, you know, plunk out stuff if I need to, like, if I'm rehearsing for a show or something. But, like, I can't just, like, on the fly look at stuff and, like, play masterfully, whether it's piano, guitar, whatever other... 700 instruments she might play so to me it's amazing people who can just like do that and i'm sure she's practiced and rehearsed and trained many many years to get to that level but still it's just remarkable to me that people can just pick up sheet music and just like okay mm -hmm. and the fact that she's having this focus so much mental attention on what she's playing because she's reading it as she's going it means that she's not focusing as much attention as she normally would on her vocals because well her attention has to be split between that so the fact that she's like paying attention to the sheet music she's playing and the vocals are like a secondary thought process to her and we're still getting like these amazing quality vocals is just saying amazing things about her talent um but yeah as far as the song just like i said all it needs is simplicity and that's what she gave you just gave you simple she didn't there was some belting and transitions between registers and all that kind of stuff, but it wasn't like a big vocal showcase. It was just like breathing. The song is like breathing and it's it's just what it needs to be. Just simple, 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 simple. So I love love her take on it. Her transitioned up into her head voice are gorgeous, as we know. Um, her, just, like I said, there were a lot of little nuanced things she did there. So for the most part, she kept it pretty close to the original melody that Adele had. But there were every once in a while, like she would extend a note or she would extend a phrase with a slight little run at the end of it or a slight little flourish or something like that. Nothing major, nothing like super duper. Like if you were if you were just, you know, shutting your eyes and just singing along whatnot, you probably wouldn't even notice it. But like 
if you're listening closely and you know you know the original Adele version relatively well, then you'd, you'd hear the subtle little differences that she made, the subtle, subtle little things that she was doing. It's like, okay, that's nice. That's a nice touch there. I like that change. I like us jumping to this note rather than keeping it down on this note. I like us doing this little flourish here and whatnot. So just subtle little things that just make it beautiful, beautiful, simple little changes. Um, yeah, it's not really much else to say. It was beautiful, beautiful, beautiful rendition. Um, yeah. So those are pretty much my thoughts. Um, I forgot that she was going on tour, so I'm going to look into that, because I don't know if... I want to say you guys that she's coming to the States. I don't know if she's coming anywhere near me, but it would be nice to see her. I haven't gone to like an actual live concert in a while. Um, the last concerts I've done over the last couple of years have all been virtual. Um, SB19, Darren Espanto, um, SB19 again. Uh, so it'd be nice to go to an actual physical concert. So I'll check to see if she's going to be anywhere near me. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful job. So like I said in the beginning, um, this particular reaction right now was to fill that 99th spot so that we can have that big special wedding reaction video for the 100th video in that playlist. So that reaction video will be released within a couple hours of this. So if you're watching this reaction video now, wait a couple hours and it should be the wedding one should be up relatively soon. If you're watching it any time after, like if you're watching it the next day or anything after that, then well, it's already up, so go watch it. But anyway, I'm gonna stop babbling so I can edit this and upload it and things and yeah, things and things. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, turn on notifications so you'll be notified when all of my shenanigans get posted. If there's anything else you'd like me to react to, be sure to leave it down in the comments and I'll get to it as soon as I possibly can. If you'd like to support the channel in other ways, you're more than welcome to join us over on Patreon. You don't have to, but you're more than welcome to if you want to. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Love ya. And before you guys go, a shout out to my amazing patrons. I can't begin to express how thankful I am for your support. And if you guys would like to join us over on Patreon, the link is down in the description. Love you guys.